We are here in Lightroom, which is this is extraordinary space for storytelling, artistic experience, in which you walk into the art of which the installation is based around. I was here for your David Hockney exhibit. And you hear about it, it's like, oh, we're gonna go see this David Hockney exhibit. You think you're gonna see paintings on the walls with maybe some explanation of what goes on. But because of the <clears throat> huge, huge room that you are in, I walked into not just a David Hockney painting, <laughs> but the painting of a David Hockney painting by David Hockney. So you take that concept and you put it towards any sort of artistic, environmental, even emotional story that you could tell. There, there's no other place where this can happen. And so when, when, when I came, I just immediately thought, I mean literally, while I was watching uh, the first presentation here, I thought, you could walk on the moon here in Lightroom. And right. that, that's when we talked. And we said it that night. I mean, we, we, we got chatting about that. We talked a bit about the creative possibilities of the space. Has that opinion changed over this process in terms of like wh where you think the storytelling can go in this room? It, in it ended up being even greater than I anticipated. Deeper, farther, longer, wider. Uh, the, 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 ex the event horizon of something like the Moonwalkers is broader than I imagined because I thought that what it would require was the creating of an artificial uh, environment. I thought you would have to use some brand of CGI, some artifice. There's, there's not a single CGI image in this. There's artwork. I mean, there's graphics. As you said this, Richard, you said every image that we are using is an image that was taken by a human being. Some human being pressed the shutter on a camera. It's as though we are the photographers of David Scott or Jack Schmidt or Al Bean. Um, and that ends up being, I think, the great bridge between being an audience and being a participant. It ends up being a much more human experience. And I think this is the thing that Lightroom does more uniquely than anything. And we're ready to uh, go to work deploying the experiment. Guys, Tom and I can sit over there and side monitor if you're in a good flat place. You have 50 minutes in which all the work is done for you. And yet, you still have the option of where you want your eye to land because something is happening right here before you. And at that same moment, something is happening right here that's different from that, and yet it augments it. Something behind you complements what you are seeing. So you end up being able to take in, at your own volition, what it is um, that you want to see. If you take a look at the people around you, everyone is, everyone has, they're looking at some other vantage point and they're all legitimate vantage points. I mean, I was here, certainly, and I would say, oh, look at that, check it out behind. I was with my wife, and I said, look behind you, oh, look at that. You, you, have, you, you have to have 20 pairs of eyes in order to see everything at the same amount of time. So there is this, there is this opportunity to, to explore the subject even more than uh, is presented to you in the first place. That just makes, you know, it makes a 50-page story actually a thousand pages long because you, you can keep going back for more and more options, and that's unique. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? There is a way that, particularly like this show, like Moonwalkers, there's a way that this could be medicine. You know, this could be, here's something you should know. Let's remember this piece of history. It could be, it could be, it could almost be dry. But like some teachers that I've had, they made the story so vivid and so about today, whether they're talking about something in the 1600s or something from 1960, the story ends up being so magical and put forward in this brand new kind of venue that what might just come off as, you know, an an educational experience comes off as much more an enlightening experience, I think. Certainly entertaining. And of course we're doing that visually, but we're also doing that in terms of the, the sound worlds that we're creating, right? So in this show, there's your voice guiding us. There's a lot of audio from the astronauts and from the missions 
And then there's um, Anne Nicotin's score, like supporting all of this and, and sometimes overwhelming this and sort of taking you to a more emotional music-led place. So tell us a bit about that and how you bring all those bits together. There's 1,000 speakers. There are times when I've seen it and I'm thinking that, why is the hair standing up on the back of my neck right now? You can't just say because it's the words that you're hearing. And you can't just say it's only the, the, the image. And you can't just say it's this phenomenal score. It's that playing of it all together. And uh, when that happens, I think you're in the hands of damn good storytellers. But humans are going back. And that's something that we, we sort of talked about early in, this, in the making of this show and fascinated by the fact that that story's not yet that well known. And the fact that we went out to Houston, we met the crew of Artemis II and that program, we only touch upon it in the show, but I think it's, it's so interesting to give that sort of look forward as well as a sort of nostalgic look back. Yeah, you guys here at Lightroom saw the possibility of the future of going to the moon, where I'm, you know, I'm in a lot of, pardon my view, I'm willing to celebrate the past, you know, what it meant to me, you know, the emotional uh, baggage, the, 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 the message that, it, that I've been carrying around, you know, since 1969. But you guys said that's not, oddly enough, you smartly said that's not quite enough because it's not as tantalizing. And now we're talking to four people who are going to be going back to a place that on one side is familiar, but on the other hand is still just as much as an evolutionary step for who we are. But we're talking to the intrepid voyagers before they make the intrepid voyage. That's pretty cool. And they're with us here next week. Are you looking forward to showing them the show? Yeah, I, I'm gonna ask them. I said, okay, you guys have been doing an awful lot of training and stuff like that. What did you learn from this show at, at, Light, at Lightroom? What did you see that you've never seen before? I bet you they're gonna come back with a couple of things. Mm -hmm.